Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Finally got around to watching uh, the movie came out earlier this year called American Ultra. It's got Topher Grace and Kristen Stewart in it. Uh, it's basically a uh, stoner version of the Born Identity. Uh, that's how a lot of people have described it, and that's pretty much exactly what it is. Uh, this makes it the second best stoner action movie I've ever seen. Uh, the first and only other one I know about being Pineapple Express. So if there's more stoner action movies out there, let me know, because I think I kind of like this genre. Jesse Eisenberg turns in a pretty solid performance as a 20-something uh, who's pretty much a stoner working at a convenience store. A setup that would make Kevin Smith proud uh, with clerks. Uh, pretty much a nowhere job in a nowhere little town that he's afraid to leave. That he can't leave. He tries to leave. He has panic attacks. Uh, his girlfriend, Phoebe, uh, is there with him all the time. That's Kristen Stewart's character. She's a much better actress than she usually gets credit for. Uh, this movie proves that. Uh, pretty much most things other than Twilight prove that. So don't write this movie off just because it's got Kristen Stewart in it. She does a good job in this. Uh, as does Jesse Eisenberg. He, his switch from stoner to stone-cold killer uh, at the drop of a hat or the draw of a gun, as the case may be, is very well done. Uh, cast, main cast is rounded out by Topher Grace as a uh, pretty much a dick in the CIA uh, who's ordered uh, the program that uh, Jesse Eisenberg's character Mike is a uh, an asset from to be eliminated. And uh, Connie Britton plays the former head of the program that created Mike. He's the only one of the agents from that program that successfully graduated from the program before it was shut down. There are very creative action sequences in this. Uh, it's m more of an action film than a stoner film, really, which is why it's the number two and not the number one. Uh, Pineapple Express is just utterly ridiculous with completely incompetent characters somehow bumbling their way through these amazingly destructive action sequences without getting themselves killed. In American Ultra, you have someone who goes from being bumbling to being Jason Bourne, uh, the most effective agent that the program has ever turned out. Uh, he takes out tons and tons of the follow-up program's uh, soldiers with no real problems. So the fight sequences are good, the explosions are fantastic, uh, John Leguizamo uh, plays a nice bit part in it. Uh, always good to see him. The logic behind the movie is iffy at best, but hey, it's an action film first and foremost, and we always know the logic behind those is iffy at best. Uh, but I would like to see more of these characters, because these are fun characters, these are good characters. Uh, and the whole Jason Bourne thing uh, with the stoner uh, edge or wrapper around it uh, can be a lot of fun. And this movie is fun. It's not as over-the-top fun as uh, Pineapple Express, but I was entertained. Uh, it's written by Max Landis, so that should give you an idea of some of the angle and some of the humor and some of the... Uh, set pieces that you uh, you can get. He, he learned a bit from his father when it comes to uh, squeezing comedy into uh, interesting and unusual places. Uh, and he does a good job of that in this movie uh, with the writing. Uh, I do recommend it. Check it out. It's a good, fun movie to watch while lounging around. It's not some big blockbuster. It's not anything exceptionally amazing, but it was entertaining. It was fun. It's got some great action sequences in it, so Jesse Eisenberg can pull that off. Uh, and the, the end title sequence is pretty fantastic. Uh, it, it's very trippy, very uh, just out there and done very well in connection with some other stuff that goes on in the movie. 
So check out American Ultra. If you already have checked out American Ultra, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. I uh, want to... Uh, what do you hear? How these stoner action films, which is almost a genre now, we need one more and then it'll be a full genre. Uh, how these stoner action films play with the general public. So if you like the stuff I talk about, been doing some movie reviews, going to probably do a few more of those before the year is out. Uh, give me a thumbs up right down there. And if uh, you're subscribed, thanks for being subscribed. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button so you can get notified every time one of these comes out. If you know anyone who's interested in this stuff or who's seen American Ultra, share this video with them so they can come and get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.